Yo, today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Your online activity should not be public. So protect yourself at expressvpn.com slash achievement. moves what up welcome <laughs> to off topic this show is sponsored by expressvpn stop putting your online data at risk you maniac get protected at expressvpn.com slash off topic oh yeah nice. that's that welcome uh okay welcome to the show i'm your host mikey j we got gavi jeremy and yo. matt yo um look i'm gonna be straight honest we botched this one did we? We botched it? Well, that's why we're doing it from home. Oh, uh, it's a bit of a botch job. It was a bit of a botch, botch job. It was one of those, um, we, couldn't, we couldn't do it today, which is fine. Probably should have pre-recorded it, but we just botched it. We botched it. We got a lot of stuff happening in the studio. Got some moving parts happening. And we're, it's uh, the, the studio be mad filled uh, for next week. Got a lot of things popping off. Noise. Uh, and so that's exciting. Um, but it was like, oh shit, off topic. Uh, <laughs> guess we're doing it from home. I'll be Ooh. honest, I was excited because it's rare that we we skip a face on a Thursday. Usually they occur yeah. at the exact same time as this, so I could never be yeah. on this podcast. This week, yep. Jeff moved it, so I, I thought, know. ah, 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 oh, it's perfect. Yeah. Look, and then, yeah, and well, then hey, look, you're still virtual. here though. No, I mean, I'm not say, I well, can't touch there. you. Yeah. No, would you have no. done that? Would you have done that regularly? <laughs> like, I can't I can't really touch you. <laughs> um, <laughs> can I just say I I had that thought where I'm like, oh man, we can get Gabby on. Oh, it's digital. And I almost went, what's the point? And then didn't invite you. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Well, I Brutal. thought about it and then I went, oh, I guess he is still free. But I almost said I wasn't even gonna bother. I what didn't a waste. Know. What a what a waste. I um look Gavin's very important. Um Resident Evil got bumped the other day for Gavin. Did. Oh wow. Up, because that we, is important. We did a little bit of play. We did some the room. And I've still got a crusty uh, carpet because of that nice. one. Nice. Dude. Okay, so what? here's a little here's a little uh, sneak peek in the middle in the middle of recording this. So, you know, we're recording our face cams, but we can't see each other while we're recording it and Gavin's playing this one and I'm just watching his gameplay and I don't know 20 30 minutes in he just goes oh, <laughs> oh no and then, and then nothing and then silence and I just keep going hello because we can't hello? actually see each other like we're, we're, yeah. I'm only broadcasting the game I'm not broadcasting him my webcam so he's and I'm just I'm, I'm laughing but I keep going hello and I almost called him to be like <laughs> Are you injured? Like, what happened? And he finally comes back and was like, Oh, spilled coffee. It's everywhere. <laughs> it, it got on like two keyboards, a mouse. Dude, it, it was devastation. It hit it all the stuff. It was, it was in my very mouth. Funny. It, not in my mouth. It was in my mouse and my, it was in my mouth as well. It went on my <laughs> keyboard and then I have a tray underneath for my streaming PC with a separate keyboard it went on one it flowed down to the other and went on my legs my chair and the carpet uh it was God just damn, a colossal dude. colossal spill maybe and my worst was, ever it was maybe his worst You've ever spill ones. Yeah. but yeah but think of the context he did a quick clean but he couldn't do a deep clean because we were in the middle of the video so he kind of just <laughs> sat in it for the, another 40 minutes and every now and then he just go oh damn it Got a wet leg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm gonna have to sort of deep clean the i might rent one of those carpet cleaners because you know there's like milk it's milky sugary drink <laughs> shitty starbucks drink so it's a bit crusty now <laughs> i'm still annoyed about it i'm still annoyed I was like, I was like, hey, where was the, uh, was the coffee? Did it get like punched or was it crazy or was it like next to your mouse? And he goes, oh, right next to my mouse. I, exactly where it shouldn't have been. He just moved the mouse and smashed it. <laughs> in, yeah. In just the worst place. It, literally the worst place you could put it. Yeah. I'm going to miss. Uh, I like watching no. those. 
the room ones are funny uh yeah. i love that game like i've played through well I, you said in the most recent one i watched the most recent plates that there's like five of them i think you said yeah there's at least only four, played four there's at least four maybe five uh did one just came out i can't remember if it, that, that's four or five one's like brand new let me see if the room five is out because if it is i want to play that shit because i love that game they're very fun Although yeah. we were very confused by chapter five in this current game that we're playing. <laughs> it was a, an odd chapter. The room puzzle game series. Let's see. Let's see what they're up to here. The room old, the room four old sins is the last one I played. Mm -hmm. Did you do the VR Oh, one? you know what? No. There's the room VR, a dark matter. Ooh. So that's that's and five, then right? The making that, of the room. Is, is that just straight up five or is that some sort of like little in between or something? I'm I'm really not sure. It looks like it might be five, or like it might, or just yeah, it might be its own game. Anyways, I don't know if it's story wise after it or not, but we don't know if it gets a number. I guess not. Yeah, yeah. It just says it just says the room VR. The other ones all have, you know, two, three, four. This one's just the room VR. I should also show as well. I mentioned this while we were recording plates the other day, but this entire room is falling apart. It's like the room nice. the room I'm in doesn't want me to be working from home anymore. And um, I have the, these light panels behind my monitor. That's what I use as my normal light. And half of it just collapsed and fell down. These are all on the floor under my desk now. And it also twatted oh, nice. my Elgato just... down from its pouch. <laughs> so I got no <laughs> lights either. Nightmare. Damn, Lit by dude. a window. I mean, it's not the worst lighting. Yeah, I mean, I, you I don't mean, look bad. I mean, it's I, not, it's not some, good, but it's not the worst, is all yeah. I said. Yeah. Mine's expertly designed where I have a giant key light blasting me right in the face. I also like I love, that I love your, it. your camera clearly tries to take some of the white balance from the green screen, and it makes mm -hmm. you look like a ham. Yeah, there's a bit, there's a bit of there's a bit of ham going on. The there's thing a is, nicer way to say that. Uh, there <laughs> was a nicer way for that to be conveyed. The thing yeah. is, right into the it. thing is, this what you're looking at here. It's a combination of the the camera I'm using, which is just a webcam. Yeah. The way I have my light set up, how I have my green scene, green screen set up, and also like my you know settings and shit, and it all is the perfect level of good enough. Mm -hmm. right? when i yeah when you yeah. put me next to like yours like yours is a little dark but you have like a really nice camera and you look like a human being you look like a human being but it's a little dark um mine always looks weird <laughs> i don't care <laughs> i don't give a shit i i care about basically is it lit enough so you can see me and do i have frames that's all i really care about that's what you need and really. i got i got both i got both you know i don't like ghost effect when i move around good enough for me that, you know? that is good yeah. dude yeah. i know a lot of people who have you know, they use actual cameras like not webcams for yeah. their for their you know cam and it's a nightmare that's all i hear is just like how much work it is and how many settings there are and it's always turning off or overheating yeah, every, or the every battery's single dying real camera that you try and use they're just not designed a lot of the time to be on for that long and uh they just get hot or they just run out of battery even though they're plugged in then a lot of them are, sh are shite for this kind of work. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, Like running out of battery when they're plugged in. I, I hate that shit. Oh, they're <laughs> using more than they're getting, <laughs> bro. Well, yeah. Well, why would you give a cord that uses more than it needs? <laughs> like, that doesn't make sense. Well, because a lot of the time, a battery will charge through a cord for convenience, so you don't have to remove the battery. But a lot of the time, you don't use them while they're plugged in. We'll take the right? battery out. <laughs> Dude, what do you want with it? I don't care if you're just using it while it's plugged in. Doesn't matter. Throw it away. Right. You well, should design cameras, dude. I'm going. Yeah, where, where, where I'm are these big brain camera. ideas, man? <laughs> clearly not in their focus groups. No, not yeah. at all. We need, they need a mat. I'm no, just. I'll, look, I'll fix it for them. You got a problem with your, to... your thing? I'll make it better. Fuck it. I'm just trying Take to keep battery. up with Gavin. <laughs> I got the the mixer. Gavin got. I got the mm -hmm. microphone. He got. You know. Who knows what's next? Maybe I'll get the accent. Yeah, I can't say. Oh, what wow, else? you'll just become Gavin. Oh yeah, that Gavin I'll wear is. his skin. Just, I'll just turn my light off. Hang pour on. Coffee in your carpet. You're halfway there. <laughs> yeah, just tip coffee all over yourself. <laughs> yeah, let's see what this looks like if I do this. Look, am I more like Gavin now? Whoa, oh, it's so. him. That's pretty yeah. good. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> now you're like a ham in the dark. 
Now I'm a dark. Now I'm a, a hidden ham. A dark ham. Yeah, dark ham. Yeah. Welcome night to ham. the ham. Night ham. No, uh, night uh. ham. <laughs> well, I like people. People go. Well, you got it. You got to bounce the light. And I go. Yeah, I know what I have to do. I have <laughs> limited you options see me not here. Doing it. Look, I can't. Diminishing I don't have returns the capability. <laughs> when it comes to effort. <laughs> well, from home it's, setups. It, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it really is. It, it really is. Um, this this works great in the level of how little I have to do to get it to work. Okay, I got to put my green screen away every day. I got to put my microphone away. That's it. I can leave the light, and the children haven't destroyed it yet. I don't have to plug shit in. Dude, the first m six months more, I don't know how long it was, of doing Off Topic, I was just using little desk key lights, you know, like the mm -hmm. ring lights, but they were just clamps that would, like, clamp onto my clamps. desk, and I had three of them. And so I'd have to, like, <laughs> clamp them all right. around me, then plug them all in, then turn them all on. And there's no, there's no <laughs> settings for, you know, it's like, you want what, you want cool or you want warm? And that's it. And so having, like, yeah. an actual light, oh, my God. I, it's I, such a, I such a time believe. saver. That you had to dismantle and put it all back together every single day. That just sounds like such a nightmare. Like, I'm sure I there are people it. in the Air Force who have run up to, got in a plane, and taken off quicker than some of the times it took you to get ready for <laughs> well, I'm sure. It's a very weird comparison. It could have been anything. I was could trying to think of something, that. been could been anything. Think of something that's like mad effort, but there's, it's, you can, I don't there's think like, you getting can in the plane and time. taking off is mad effort. <laughs> There's a plane! What do you mean? Well, also, Matt, someone's yelling, go, go, go. <laughs> oh, yeah, so you sorry. Gotta, you got to remember gotta that. that yeah. um, but look, now I push the button, the light's on. I look like a ham, but I'm back in the office. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> the ham comparison is uh, incredible. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it stuck a lot longer than I thought it would. Jeez. Matt. Matt, I know. Gotta I, gotta, down, I gotta calm down. Bro, let, get let those your kids snake. go home, Matt. Get your snake, Matt. It's freaking out. Matt, what what kind of stuff? Like, if something of yours breaks around the house, do you try and tackle it yourself, or do you hire someone, or do you just stare at it for months and months and months and nothing happens? Man, that's a good question. It's normally the third option. Uh, <laughs> Seems like the it, bad it, option. <laughs> it it depends. If it's like, if the fridge were to break, then I'd be like, well. I can either call someone or I can just throw it out and then <laughs> it, I just get a new fridge. That's kind of like the, the long and short, but yeah, if it's like something I think can be repaired, like if it's got a problem, I'll call somebody about that, but I'm not going to do it. I can't do, have, do it. Do you have a toolbox? Uh, I've got a hammer. <laughs> that's that's the key ingredient hammer. from the yeah. toolbox. And that will, yeah, I got, yeah, I got the... a hammer, a uh, screwdriver set. Nice. Uh, I have a drill. Um, good. The hammer, the hammer is for Matt to stand there with it when he hires the people to fix the fence. And he just goes, with the I hammer. Wanna... No, he goes, you better fix it. Hurry up! <laughs> Hurry up! Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I, I've got like a, a doorbell thing I need to install that I just, I, I can't use the ladder right. So what I don't. You mean I you can't do use it. the ladder right? Wait, like, that wasn't the. I, that wasn't the right way to phrase it. Right. Yeah, I. I <laughs> I like I got, I got on the ladder and I got up to like the top of the thing because I have to like uh, undo the thing on my doorbell, and I'm like, this I don't know how to do this. Like I, I opened the the box up. I'm like I have no idea what to do with this. Why are you messing with the doorbell? What's that got to do with what's what's that got to well, do with the ladder like, though? Well, because the my my doorbell is up in my ceiling. Well, you're like the, well, you're, like the internal the, speaker thing. Right, the chime is up yeah, in your the ceiling. Yeah, the chime. And I have what to like I'm I'm installing like a, a new like a different camera. Like I've already got one on there, but I wanted to upgrade right. or update it. Uh huh. And I was like, yeah, I, I this thing requires like a power box go onto the chime to make sure that all oh, of it's getting power right. and all that. I remember like, mine said that too, and it was made up. Didn't oh, need really? it at all. Oh, yeah, it could be made up, man. Yeah, I put it in. It, well, no, Matt, I know what way. Matt's talking about here. I changed the doorbell itself first, and then they're like, you need this extra little thing, this little mm -hmm. square you got to put in your chime box. And then I went, no, I don't. And it worked fine. I, I feel oh, like well. the. The chime itself has, is redundant these days. Like, if you got a doorbell well, that yeah, tells your thing? phone that there's someone at the door, then I can what? tell you that's not accurate because we have the doorbells with the cameras and everything that let us know when someone's there. But the chimes don't work. We don't know why they stopped working. <laughs> We're going to figure it figure it out at Maybe some point. Put that box in. In. You gotta put you Matt's box in there. But if you don't notice that thing go off, yeah. 
Someone could be really standing there for quite yeah. a while. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That, that actually had happened to me the other day. Like, uh, I had someone come over, like, super early, and I I forgot they were supposed to be here. So, naturally, me going to bed at, like, 7 o'clock was not expecting someone to show up at 7.30. And, uh, yeah, that, that doorbell kept ringing. I, I had several <laughs> notifications from my phone, like, being like, hey, there's someone out there. They were hard ignored, but the doorbell did not stop. What that's, would they, that's what did they want the from you? Well, they had to inspect my roof because I was going to try and get like solar panels. The roof's outside. That. Yeah, but they have to like <laughs> I'm make sure, sure they that need I'm your okay permission. With it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't just be like, hey, I, I hopped on your roof while you were asleep. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's hope a you're bit okay weird. with that. that. Is that that all good or you? you hmm. You can't just also, on people's also towers. if you don't have a doorbell, who is the delivery? What's the delivery guy gonna ring when you're getting food at midnight and you put in the notes, "Do not ring doorbell, sleeping children." That's Who's a good gonna, point. Ring, yeah. ring, 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 and I scream, "You motherfucker!" <laughs> <laughs> and God then he's driven off. <laughs> just leave it. Way. Just leave it and leave. It, it the in the old times. <laughs> leave this it and is, leave. Yeah. Put the pizza down and leave. In the old times, it's like, don't ring the doorbell. Okay, knock. And then you gotta wait and stand there. But now yeah. you don't even need to fucking see me. Throw yeah, my food away. on the ground yeah. and yeah. walk away. Oh, I bet. Oh, twelve thirty at night. I better ring the doorbell and stand here with it until someone gets, <laughs> so I can go like this and then walk away. Just leave it, please. Contactless <laughs> delivery is like the greatest thing to right, come no, out right. of the pandemic. It's, it's the a, greatest it's thing. I love but it. like, it's built a new uh, new thing to get annoyed about when people don't adhere to it. Yeah. I want, I'm like, if I open the door you don't several need to be minutes, here. Yeah, leave. Like if, if it's been a little bit since the food has arrived, I I expect there to be no one when I open that door. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And if there is someone. And then there they are. It's There's someone there, and you go, yeah. why'd you wait? Yeah. The only, one of the only times sure? I like, saw someone recently is because <laughs> I knew they were coming. Like, I got the little thing on my phone that's like, hey, they're, you know, zero minutes away or whatever. So they're, like, just on their way up. And I looked at my cameras to see, like, which light I had on out front, like which door they were going to. And there was a bunch of turkeys out there. And I was like, I gotta go scare those away before he gets here. Like, I feel bad. So I like went outside, like in my shorts and stuff. I was like, get the hell out of here. I was like chasing the turkeys off. <laughs> so that the guy didn't have to bunch deal of, with it. Bunch of turkeys out there. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, get away. Oh my God. But, yeah, you know. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Felix gray look during this work from home life okay there's been situations where i'm on the computer all day i'm looking at screens all day and i get the eye owies you just gotta get up walk away maybe you know do like eyeball therapy i don't know what that is but i'm sure you've had a similar experience it's all the dang blue light just blasting okay well hang on with felix gray which filters out 15 times more blue light Okay, you can bid goodbye to those midday pain sessions. We don't want them, okay? We don't need them. You'll see me popping them on every now and then, and people say, Michael, I thought you got LASIK. Why are you wearing glasses? And I say, I'm, I'm Felix Gray, and I'm wearing them for the eye comfies, okay? I can keep working, and I can give my little peepers a little break, all right? Felix Gray offers a bunch of other classic frame styles made from acetate that are hand-finished for a durable, lightweight, and super comfortable pair of glasses. Their blue light lenses come standard starting at $95, or add your prescription at checkout starting at $140. $45. And with their 30 day money back guarantee, there's nothing to lose but all that eyeball ouchie. Get yourself a pair of glasses made for the 21st century and designed for modern, hardworking eyes. You have nothing to lose except maybe that eye strain, baby. Go to FelixGrayGlasses.com slash off topic for the best blue light glasses on the market. That's F E L I X G R A Y glasses.com slash off topic. Free shipping. Free returns, free exchanges, Felix Gray Glasses.com slash off topic. Are, are you that's drinking kind of the oh, it's go ahead. water? No, you go ahead, Matt. Well, I was just saying that's like the thing. Like I've got the cameras and all that, and like all I ever really see is stuff that I don't care about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> know, it's a like... you gotta you gotta work that grid as much as you possibly can, you know. Yeah, so like it, 
the sensitivity levels there you can mm -hmm. set like how far it detects you can like you literally like you can create boxes and squares and so you want to get a perfect angle of obviously you want it to detect to, to, to detect someone walking up to your house or passing or whatever but it's like i don't care if you're on the sidewalk i don't care if you drive by oh someone's here and then you look and you know it has that nice two second delay you know what i mean mm -hmm. so you look and you go who's here oh no one great yep. someone walked by and they're already gone i don't need these alerts yeah it's hard. Imagine, it's a, i feel like it's a I can't hard turn life. them off you know like I've, I, I've got a bunch of birds on my porch too and like they they've set the thing off like way too much and i, I don't want to make them homeless because i don't think i can oh. right now but it, it if they if they leave that home man it won't be there it'll be gone there you go wait yeah wait till yeah, they go to the store and then just yeah <laughs> i just love the idea it. that you're so annoyed you're being shown stuff you don't care like like why do you even like, have yeah. windows you're like looking at a window just like i don't give a shit no, any of this i mean but the I, I will say yeah, but the yeah, window yeah, doesn't call out closed. right yeah <laughs> if, if, if my hey, phone goes off be like hey there's the windows are like matt look, look matt here's look at the this. thing <laughs> yeah if your phone goes off seven times and not a single time is it something you need to look at it's kind of annoying you know like god damn it <laughs> stop say so, hey i go outside and i go stop exercising to the two yeah. people that were jogging <laughs> past my house i go how how dare you how dare you what are you doing? <laughs> get at it. Come on. Hey, get it. You better keep running. I had a you thing think with you're my better exercising. I had a thing with my doorbell once where I was like, man, I've just stopped getting alerts from the the motion on the doorbell. And then I and then I looked at it. I was like checked in the app and I all I could see was black. I was like, oh maybe it's unplugged. I went out there, there was a wasp nest on the lens. Oh, oh my god. Oh, so just, Jesus. And I wound it back and I just slowly saw like a time lapse of the wasps covering up the lens. It was Whoa. awesome. They were they were about we're to get that. I would, yeah, I would care yeah. about Here's that. Here's the thing, Gavin. I would, I would watch that. Here's the thing, Gavin. They were about to rob you. Yeah. It's yeah. true. It's like a heist movie when they're spraying out the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it also explained why no one had been ringing, ringing the bell in a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna poke the wasp nest yeah. in order to get into this house. Welcome to wasp house. Like a saw trap of an entrance yeah. to a house. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell because uh, we uh, on our street, not a lot of cars go by, but you can tell when an alert is a car because we have three cameras pointing forward, like mm -hmm. one on each door and then one on our driveway. And j depending on if all three go off, you're like. A car just went by and depending on the order really they went fast. off you know which direction it was going <laughs> you're like <laughs> it's like that one that one that one it's going that way got it oh my Learned god and they, and they all go off individually yeah Goodness. but honestly i think over Goodness. the course of like a normal day a uh, car drives by our house maybe twice i'd say I'm like a normal that's awesome day. Mm -hmm. yeah because we're, we're, well we're on like a circle but it's one of those things where it's like you're the furthest away from it so like everyone uh -huh. on one side of you, they're gonna come in on that, like the right entrance of the circle and everyone on the left side of you comes in on the left entrance. So like no one goes by to get to their place. It's just like as far as possible. It's like, perfect. There you go. Don't drive by my house, get away. Yeah, I had a cheeky get little away. little Bev with Papa Dooley the other day. Yeah, you did. did. Yeah, you did. That, awesome. <laughs> that man still surprised. So like, that's the thing he called me up and he was talking to me and he received this bottle of liquor that i ordered i ordered from this rum that like cat and i really mm -hmm. like and uh so it showed up in his place because you uh like it was just easier to deliver it there and so he was like hey your rum showed up and this is when like gavin meg fredo and jackie were here and I was like, oh, okay, cool. We're like driving somewhere and we're going to be going by your place. I'll just swing by and pick it up. And he's like, okay. I mean, if you're coming by, you're going to have a beer, right? And I was <laughs> like, I mean, like, you know, we have all these plans today. And he's like, I mean, you can have one beer. Because the thing with him is he doesn't drink unless there's other people around. So he's like, right. stalks so he was, his fridge. He was, saying, he was saying, let me drink. Son. exactly that's yeah. really what it is like he mm -hmm. stocks his fridge with beer but unless there's people visiting he doesn't have any of it so um i'm like okay we'll come by for a beer so we were driving back from where we were and i just had jackie with me in my car and then in kat's car she had gavin megan fredo and we took a wrong turn while driving back i got <laughs> i got confused and went the wrong way so we got there 
second by the time we got there everyone was already inside and had their drinks and my dad just like he just likes to entertain people he just like yammers and talks and like um i can't even remember Dare some he. of the nonsense that he say but he says the whole time but like when we all had our drinks i was like okay now we got like dinner plans and he's like well i mean i have so much more like we could have another drink he was like talking saying like we could have another drink he's like we could order food we could order food and they could deliver it here and then we could just like have the drinks and i'm like dad we we have our plans we're gonna go get food and he does this thing now where he like mopes he goes like this so like he, so like he, he did this like on our kitchen island he's like no one ever visits anymore and i'm like you and i was like you know that's not true i was like you know that isn't true i'm here Damn, all the dude. time and um, that's messed up that's messed up yeah. you to do but we were talking about we talked to him about that we did an escape room and uh he was like i want to do an escape room that sounds fun let's i want to do an escape room so i'm actually taking him me cat and my parents are doing does an escape know, room this does weekend. he know he oh, can't nice. smash his way out he, he is that's... gonna he's gonna be horrible and not because like <laughs> he's not gonna be able to figure things out but because in his brain his brain's gonna go that's how to do this and when it isn't how to do it it's gonna mm -hmm. like fluster him and he gets very boston when that happens and you know It'd just be like, well, why would they give you this if yeah. this isn't gonna happen over here? And then why like, you a I, door I, if you're not gonna go through the right. door? I don't, understand, I don't understand why they did that. So, oh, like, I'd love I, to watch a live feed yeah. of you guys oh. doing that. <laughs> I told great. I told Cat, I was like, prepare yourself. And like, and then my That's mom, cool. I was like, I know you're gonna be into this, but we're gonna have to like rein that man in. <laughs> we're gonna be like, Let's calm down. We'll find it. We'll do it. It was very weird though. And I felt like it was a slight invasion of privacy that I was in your parents' house when you weren't there. I was like, how has yeah. this happened? <laughs> What's yeah. going on in the world? And they kept yeah. asking you to leave too, yeah. which was weird. <laughs> yeah, Gavin went, is this your childhood house? Like, did you grow up here? And I went, yeah. And then that's what he said. He was like, that feels like a massive invasion of your privacy. Yeah, I was, I was like, like, why am I here? You, you don't want me here where you grew up. It's weird. <laughs> I loved it though. I, I was really excited to go get a... Uh, Bev's with your parents because I've I've interacted with them, you know, very briefly when they visited mm -hmm. the set and stuff. So I was I was super excited to go there. It was awesome. Yeah. And, and Dude, he I, just goes off. I have like uh I don't even know how to how to describe it, like side excitement, like uh, proximity based excitement. That you guys get to do that. Like you went yeah, on know, a plane right? and you vi that yeah, rule it was wild like, it was like a real human thing right because it's if you didn't know I, audience uh, you guys you guys started this board game uh what was the name of it what's it called uh betrayal legacy mm -hmm. so it's called. so it's basically like a game where it's like a season right like it's very long run it's not like a one and done thing it's like a you play the same characters or it like carries over and you play and play and play and play mm -hmm. and you guys were so far in it having done it with like that particular group and you were about to finish right before the pandemic. And so the game yeah. was on hold for like almost a year and a half. So that was like a, a, a surprise birthday thing that I guess Kat had planned yeah. for Gab Meg, Jack and Alfred to come down and are. finish oh, look, it. There we are. Yeah. yeah, that was a game yeah. we started in 2019 and it's, uh, it's just like a leg, they're legacy versions of some games and it's just a legacy version of, Betrayal, where you build, you discover the house, and shit happens, all that stuff. But in this version, mm -hmm. you kind of keep your family. Like each round takes place in a different year, so you end up playing as the descendants of the people you played as in the rounds yep. before. <laughs> Unless sometimes they survive, and then you just play them again, but they're older. So we we were like, when you, then you write down what happens at the end of each run, and I think there's like twelve or something rounds. And yeah, we, we we stopped with three to go, so we were very eager to finish it. But it's just yeah. so funny to like read back all of the fates of each character, but especially considering it was over a year ago that we wrote all this stuff. So we, <laughs> we were like reading back all the stuff we'd done and we were like, oh yeah. And some of the stuff you'd read out and be like, oh, you know, I fed some uh, poisoned flesh to all these. And you're like, what happened in that one? Yeah. Like, really, I don't remember that one at all. There was one where we all mentioned like a cat, and I don't remember what the cat had to do with anything. Like, <laughs> yeah. mine was like, I died in it, and I was like, 
uh relied on a cat a cat can't fight died <laughs> like that was yeah. just what, like, what does that example? mean <laughs> yeah but the, the game does cool stuff where you you end up with permanent changes to the board so for example mm -hmm. in one of the rounds for some reason i fed myself to a doll that could come to life or something yeah for, then for it some exploded reason. in yeah. this room and then because it exploded and i died in this room my blood was all over the walls and then you peel off a sticker that's just sat in one of the books i'll turn to this page and peel off this sticker and then you place the sticker over that room tile so that every future game you play that is now known as the bloody room and it was just my blood all over this room and people could just explore it and find it like a normal game <laughs> but it's like got history from your previous rounds in it it's very fun very and fun game. they always yeah. say like destroy this card and so we had a like we'd always have a history of like finding ways to destroy the cards like we would burn some of them we cut some <laughs> of them up i like buried some in my yard like uh we would like find ways <laughs> to destroy them so <laughs> this time we thought it'd be funny if we put it in a blender and made like a card <laughs> smoothie <laughs> and um but the thing is i couldn't get them to blend because they're cards that they're stick paper. to the side sure and they wouldn't like blend up so but then once we got a bunch of them there were some like <laughs> thick cardboard ones and i was like this is gonna make our smoothie and i put them all in and you know some water in there and i was blending it and while i was blending it i picked it up to be like look at it go <laughs> like it's blending and then it caught one of the cardboard cards and it kicked while i was holding it so i'm holding this like blending card smoothie in the air and it like, it, it, like kicked out of my hands and I like dropped my blender and like the uh, it was the so top, funny. Like, and, popped up. It was and, and Kat was like, "Can idea. you not? Can you not break the blender? It's a new blender." And you're like, like blended up these cards and it's like <laughs> churning up all this gray, dark, like opaque water. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's really it was making a awful. mess of it. But it made um, me gag actually. It did, yeah, because the card smoothie made Gavin gag a little bit. Yeah, but it was gross. The, well, the yeah, game, it would be. yeah, it was on hiatus for so long and like. To give us an idea of how long it had been, like you name your characters as you go. And Gavin had named one of his characters Phil Collins. That's true. Because <laughs> one of the last times we played it was on New Year's Eve of 2019. And we were listening to uh, yeah. Coming it, in it the was, Air Tonight. That was into 2020 because we were trying to, trying to time the drums in, in the air tonight to the new year, which we I messed up. At, actually. Yeah. You play the extended oh, version. Man. Like it says, like, start it at like <laughs> this time and then the drums will hit. But then Gav actually played the extended version, so... And then all of my entries for that character... Because Phil Collins lived twice, so I was yeah. Phil Collins three times, so I, all my things would be like, oh, you know, we uh, we beat the demon, and I felt it in the air tonight. And then the, yeah. other, the next one would be like, oh, yeah, we we outwitted the cat against all odds. And I was just adding in, like, different Phil Collins songs in my <laughs> little summaries, like a, like a real knob. It was so and... fun to read back. I mean, we're, now we've got all our things, and I'm going to frame mine. Yeah, we saved them all. And like Fredo posted his online and that's where Gabu came from because he, mm -hmm. he named his family House Dabu. And then like his first character was Babu Dabu. And then like <laughs> as it went on, then Gabu was eventually one and Gabu just kept living. Gabu died when she was like 163 because like <laughs> Gabu kept living. And then like we and the thing is, you can find items in the game and you can name them. You can like make them your family heirloom and you give them a name. And Gavin got like a bow and arrow or a crossbow to be called like the shaft perforator. And yeah, someone had something called like the goop scooper oh, or no. something. And yeah. And, and so then Gabu's death entry is like perforated, then goop scooped, no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's it for Gabu. Dead. <laughs> yeah, I think he went one different after Gabu, but then Gabu became so memorable and we were just referring to it all the time. This is even before he got the, the pup. Yeah. And then after that, he then went back to the Gabu names, like with sequel titles, which was. Yeah. It was like Gabu Reloaded and like uh, <laughs> yeah, Live Free Die good. Gabu. Yeah. <laughs> it, was pretty, it, was, it was fun. We want to do more legacy games because they're just. It is really cool to have that yeah. ongoing story and like it evolves. And there's a ton of them. Like there's a crap ton of legacy games out there. Definitely the furthest I've ever gone to play a board game, but it was totally yeah. worth it. Yeah. yeah. No, but that's an awesome story, though. Mm hmm. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Look, I can tell you that having a VPN is important, but that's nowhere near as helpful as telling you why it's important, okay? Listen 
to me. Basically, a VPN encrypts all of your data so everyone from big scammers to tech giants can't steal it and sell it. That's yo info, okay? And when I say your data, I mean all of it, even your addresses, your passwords, everything. And when it comes to VPNs, I can also tell you that ExpressVPN is the best one on the market. ExpressVPN doesn't log your activity online. Lots of free or cheap VPNs make money by selling your data to advertisers, which kind of defeats the purpose of having one to begin with. The best part of ExpressVPN is probably just how dang easy it is to use. Seriously, it's so easy. Even your mom who calls you because she can't figure out how to get her email can do it. My mother, very similar. She can get to the email, but um, don't ever log her out because... She will not be able to log back in, okay? Um, I've been using ExpressVPN quite a while, over a year now. Works great, super easy to use, extra layer of security, no reason not to. That's right, with one push of a button, you're protected. So protect yourself with the VPN that I use and trust. Use our link, expressvpn.com slash off topic today. You get an extra three months for free on a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash off topic and get your mother logged back into her email, okay? Could be missing a lot of stuff. You know, so, fun. yeah, I mean, that looked awesome. And like, honestly, just like in general, you know, wanting to like do more and, you know, like shit's getting okay. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I've said like this year's been way better than I thought as far as like, vaccinations going out and people getting them and like infection rates going down and like Don't places open. It. look i'm gonna say it. Look, time. you yeah. you jinxed it anyway there's clip after clip you caused the whole thing anyway yep. True. um <laughs> it's just like it's just like Damn. oh my god like you know it's a weird feeling of like seeing you go do that was like we've been like dipping our toes in this shit but i was like we yeah. should do stuff like do stuff like i've had people over and we usually sit in the backyard or like we've gone to dinner like once or twice which was awesome to like sit down and have good mm -hmm. food again but i was like that jeremy there like just having people over drinking i was like i want to go drinking not like downtown but like go drinking and Lindsay was saying oh yeah we could like go to a restaurant i was like no fuck a restaurant i just want to like i just want to go drinking somewhere so like later this week, probably this weekend, I think we're just gonna like plan a trip of just like, just just hanging out at a bar. Hell and yeah! I just, and it's like, oh, what do you want to do? Oh, nothing. I just want to hang out for a couple of hours. You know, like maybe a place that has food, but like, you know, dinner is nice too. But you're kind of stuck talking to the people right in front of you or next to you, and that's it. But like, you know, you go to a bar again. I want to go to like Sixth Street where like people are yelling and screaming and you're shoving all over the place but just like somewhere you can just get up and go talk to somebody and then come back here and then go over there that like just watching you guys do that i was like i want to do that i want drinks i want to yeah. get that and Thank i said you, look dude. so i you know I may have something in the works and i said look i'm not planning to be like we're gonna get shit faced blah 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 but there, I will absolutely buy at least one or two rounds of shots. That's going to happen. <laughs> oh, there's no way that's not shit. There's no way that's not going to happen. Where it's going to be like, oh, enjoying your third beer. <laughs> that was I at some point became that guy, and I love it when you just walk back and half the people go yeah, and half the people go oh no, and then you really just go just do it, do it. <laughs> No, dude, the, dude, dude, yeah. dude, I remember. <laughs> no, within reason. I remember. Um, again, talking about like a backyard thing. The last time Fiona was in town, I had a couple people over in the backyard, and and I had a. I had just gotten a bottle of Fireball, and so I had little. Uh, I bought plastic, like you know, just throwaway shot glasses. And uh, I was just doing a couple of fireball shots and I would like Gavin was off talking to somebody else and I was talking to Fiona and somebody else and I'm pouring shots and one was for Gavin and I poured it and she goes, Fiona's like, Gavin's never going to drink that. Like, that's too much. She's not going to drink all that. And I go, uh, fair point. And I take another shot glass and I start pouring it out. And she's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, you just said he wasn't going to drink it. And she's like, I, you're, he's, I'm, you're still going to give it to him how dare you like she called out it was too much for you and then got insulted when i tried to cut it in half yeah. she's like no no he'll drink it okay i'll make sure he drinks it 
no that shit's going on um but yeah i'm, I'm scared of shots. just hanging out oh well, I mean, they're scary they they're scary things you. they're scary things dude ever since i got stuck in my desk suit i've been scared of doing <laughs> shots <laughs> That's a where I would have a dusk suit. <laughs> my, my dusk suit. In fairness, though, you did like have that fireball on hardcore mini golf. I remember you had a bunch of that fireball. You did, yeah. Like three that, was, that was worse and, because and you can't even you see guys. the shots. Yeah, yeah you just, just don't know how much you're drinking. That was yeah, just, just the two of you. The and um, dude, great, great little little uh time capsule right before the pandemic started of the world we lived in where you we and knew Fiona, it was coming we, yeah. you knew you knew it was, you knew it was coming but it wasn't there yet right yeah it's like it was like oh maybe this is a thing it was yeah I, I, it was still at that point of like oh i guess there's hot spots you know what i mean like, oh, like i feel in like the US. I, I definitely felt like oh this is the last one of these for a while like See, it had I'll, that vibe to it I'll and it was you, raining it was like the end of the world i'll tell you i it, didn't yeah, feel that way because happen. the last thing i did was go fucking bowling with jeremy <laughs> yes i yeah. kept saying like and that again similar to what i'm talking about right now just like hanging out and drinking we were sitting there just going like i was talking to Lindsay. i'm like let's just do something let's just do something different this weekend like let's just do something yeah. like oh we can do this that whatever i'm like we should go bowling and that was met with like, why would we go bowling? I'm like, ah, it's just an excuse to drink and move. That's it. You just drink beer <laughs> and you get bar food and you bowl and that's it. And I, that's what you do. That's, it's that's great. all you do. Yeah. And so fun. we ended up going and this is like right as like, like a week later, everything was shutting down. Right. So we're there. This place was fucking slammed. There's yep. like 200 people there. You're wearing other people's shoes, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Three days went by and I went, maybe we shouldn't have went to the bowling alley. That seems, <laughs> that seems regrettable. Um, was fine. Sticking our had, fingers and had dirty, dirty, sticking dirty your dirty fingers and holes. <laughs> Thank God it was fine. It hadn't, hadn't blowed up yet, like in yep. Austin. But then it just became the narrative for the next month, two months, six months, eight months. The last thing we did was go bowling. Who, I would have never chosen this. It's like, you have one thing you can do before quarantine. What is it? I would not have said bowling. I did not know it was coming. I can never tell if I go bowling ironically. Like, is bowling good? Do oh, we it's go fun. because it's, it's fun? Here's the thing. Here's the like... thing. Bowling's fun. Um, and people are going to get mad, all three of them out there. But like, I and I, I bowled in leagues as a kid. Serious bowling is not fun. The last thing yeah. you want to see is someone having a temper tantrum because they did knock the pins down. And that's a lot of people that go bowling. Like, like, like Jeff when he goes bowling because he I used know, to be I, good at bowling. I don't think I ever went bowling with it's, Jeff. It's really bad but like, when you used to be good. Which, which I guess like... That's that's kind of the case for all sports, right? You don't want yeah. to see like a spore, a, a spore, a spore sportsman sport. You don't want to see somebody being like a sour sport or somebody like pissed mm -hmm. off that they didn't do really well. Like, oh, I'm mad. But like, it's kind of extra just pathetic with bowling. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, no, not the bowlers, but like, you know, like people rationalize, people getting mad about football. You know what I mean? If people yeah. like if somebody threw an interception and the coach is like screaming or whatever. To be fair, and I know this is not the case about bowling, there's also like hundreds of millions of dollars floating around that. You know what I mean? Of like the teams and the the, yeah. the player salaries and the betting and everything like that. It's not really a thing with bowling. So when you see a grown person like having a fit about bowling it's like bro you're just bowling i think it's but also interesting we had a because lot of fun there's only so much that can happen in bowling like at least in yeah. football or in like that's other why football, you can like it's like oh that person they kicked so, it bounced off this person's head and then there's like a bicycle <laughs> kick and it went in can you believe that shit it's like only so much can happen in bowling, bowling. I well, think the there's just not many like, variables. Here's like, they, like we only go bowling one with bodybuilders. Okay, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> this is and why then, like, this... they can't they can't touch the ground with the ball. They just have to chuck it and like throw <laughs> yeah. it right into the pins. It's pitching. <laughs> it, yeah, it, but 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 still the bowling ball. Yeah, uh, not Shot like a, a baseball. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh, the thing about that is it was we had a lot of fun because I don't think anybody cared. Correct. We had a lot of mm -hmm. drinks and food. Correct. And, uh, but like, it's great because it's like, you get to like have a lot of drinks and food, but it's also, you know, over a couple of hours. So it's not like, I got fucking wasted at the bowling alley. You know what I mean? And uh, my, I'll tell you like, what can happen? My favorite thing that happened probably of that night 
was man, I was taking a picture of the we've told this before, but I was taking a picture <laughs> of the score at one point. And as I was taking a picture, Jeremy ran up to me and he had just gotten a strike or something. No, and I got him one one seven is my final score. Oh, like, and he hey, started doing a whole bit and he was like, Yeah, one one seven. I let him go on for like twenty seconds and I went, I'm not filming. <laughs> and he just went and then he immediately went, Oh. I went, well, why'd you let me do it? <laughs> Did a whole song and dance in front of it. I mean, if there's anyone who's going to not tell you that you're wasting oh, your yeah. time, it's Michael. Michael was just sitting there, sitting there and smiling, went out. like watching it. It was really you, funny. You should have known seconds into it, then. It was like, really the, funny. The first smile. Yep. No, oh, so God. I was just like, I was filming it. But, like, to also give you an idea of, like, when Michael's saying that's the last thing we did, uh, I was, like, quote unquote quarantined during that that's when i was staying in a hotel because oh wow i wasn't quarantined but cat had just gone to uh like a meeting a convention thing in san francisco and i had to film hardcore mini golf and they were like well if you see cat then you have to quarantine because anyone coming from that area had to quarantine that's why like greg miller wasn't there in person at the event and um and so I was like, I still need to do this hardcore mini golf. So that's why I stayed in a hotel for one week of like cats two week quarantine. Then the second week I just stayed home the entire time. But like, so after we were done bowling, I just went back to the hotel. Like, <laughs> you know, so it was really weird. And I picked what up, a night. I picked up so much beer for that hotel room. I remember that because zombie army four had just come out or something, a zombie army game. So I was just sitting there playing zombie army in my hotel room with a ton of beer and like i just bought like a trash bag and filled it with empties and i was like walking through the hotel with a bag full of empty <laughs> beer bottles by the time i left that room yeah i remember just... leaving hardcore mini golf day one the, the wet day and uh i what went is this back picture with... of jeremy yeah where, where's that from is that, is that i from mean the it's, 200? it's from 200 I'll... but is, is that you that doing what your anything. dad did i don't I'll know i'll tell you it... fireball tweeted that picture oh <laughs> yeah one time <laughs> Have you been sponsored by Fireball yet? No, and I keep, I've been trying. Well, why, again, been, look at, the photo's already <laughs> there. Why would they pay him? Exactly. Yeah. Like, well, I think that's the problem with me, and, like, I would love to get sponsored by some form of alcohol. Uh, name, Fireball or Truly would be top tier for me. Yeah. Um, but, like. Yeah, same. You know, I, I just, I give them too much free publicity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think is the problem. You know, you, you like what you like. You like what you know? Yeah, you like what you like, and I'm not gonna. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna drink water unless you can convince me otherwise. Liquor. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drink water. Mm. Oh, am I the only one on the on the claw? No, no. Well, well, I well, I got an empty. Did you take that off my desk? I got a, I got a local brew. Um, Ooh. That's where uh, my desk would be, isn't it? Yes. I yes. mean, you're, you're in our I'll, old I'll office honest, that doesn't I, exist. Uh, you said it, and I just, I was like, I don't know what he's talking about. I'm going to ignore it and just hope <laughs> yeah, he goes he, away. He was making very little. I'm going to hope he goes away. But now what's I understand Jeremy's what desk? you're saying. Um, yeah, what's on my desk? <laughs> oh, There's always a bottle of liquor under my desk. You know it's that. It's bad. Who are you, Fiona? It's bad. I know there's fireball under there. That's my <laughs> Where is it? The one time it wasn't. The one time ever. And then, but then, like, it's like a thing my kid does, you know, where then she's like, well, it was under there. And I was like, I never said it wasn't at some point. I just kept saying, right now, it's not. Yes, it is. Where is it? I, it's gone. Whoa. Ding. Whoa. That was a ding a ling ding ring a ling bling. That's the Furt Bell. What up, firsties? How you doing, you beautiful bastards? Thanks to our first members for supporting this stream and more. You see it at the bottom there? It says it all. I don't have to say anything, and I won't. <laughs> Did you believe me? Oof. They wouldn't know what to do with that. Anyway, <laughs> hey, appreciate it, dog. Thanks for thanks for clicking that furt button and showing your support. It do mean a lot. And also, if you're not a furt member, maybe check out, you know, some of the great furt content like hardcore mini golf that we were just talking about. We got all kinds of stuff. We got uh, you know, all the tabletops and the haunters and the and the weird places and many, many things. Um, last laugh. 
and more to come. We already we already shot the next big first show that's going to be coming out soon. Soon when? Am I just teasing? No, I have no idea. But probably in the next few months. Uh, and now we're done. Bam. Speaking of good good nice. foot, uh content, a video yeah. came out. A video came out uh, yesterday. When was yesterday? Wednesday? Yeah, sure was. Probably buddy. my f my favorite TTT moment. <laughs> James this year <laughs> this, uh, this james year. and james brutally executing jack with like two silence pistols fiction. like boondock saint style <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, it, no. just such a brutal moment but I, i've watched it like 10 times already it's so funny it's just so good it might be my fam yeah, favorite dude, ever moment with alfredo that's... and that's including me throwing a moonball at his testicles while he was in the air there was, um, I get that, and it's funny because I wouldn't think of this, but I just came across it recently. I don't know why. It had to be from, like, 2019. Um, we did a TTT once where I, th I think we were all running around with Star Wars skins for some reason. We were. And uh, yeah. it, there was this fucking round <laughs> where uh, Trevor and I, I think it was Trevor, were in a room, and there was like a shelf and we're like crouched on the shelf. So we're like in like the shelving, like in the corner and we're this close to each other. Like I'm just looking at him and he's looking at me and I was holding, uh, I was holding a huge and he's a fucking youngling, right? So he's just like a little kid just standing oh, yeah. there. He's a little kid. And then he goes, yeah. And he turns green cause he was a zombie. And I just went, <laughs> and he's this far away and i laughed for like two fucking minutes it was the most like vicious thing i'd ever seen <laughs> God. so i know exactly what you're talking about god it was just so absurdly funny <laughs> oh, oh my god like that's so brutal and jeremy you brutalized me in that same right one back. that just came out where mm -hmm. i was getting i was getting revived yeah I didn't want I didn't want it. I had enough James and James that episode. So I like help. So Fredo was my partner. He was the hypnotist and I was a traitor. Fredo kills you and he picks you up. And I'm like going with him and like shooting people along the way. And we like get your body into a secluded area. And Fredo revived you. And what was worse is it was so tense because he was taking forever to do it because he kept like nudging you by accident or like you weren't in the right spot. So we'd like start it and be like, ugh like move you a bit and then he like do it again and after like a huge amount of time into the round he finally picks you back up and the second you pop up i hit you with a harpoon and ran off <laughs> <laughs> just like didn't let james and james happen this episode of off topic is brought to you by stamps.com are you still going to the post office you maniac why stop doing that stop doing that to yourself seriously why would you put up with the hassle when you can just go to stamps.com Stamps.com brings the services of the USPS and UPS right to your computer. Just use your computer to print official US postage 24 seven for any class of mail, anywhere you need it to go. Plus you get discounts of up to 40% off post office rates and up to 66% off UPS shipping rates. That's two thirds. Stamps.com is seriously a no brainer for any kind of business, big, small, huge, or tiny. Okay, it's super easy to use. It's just one less hassle to deal with. Why do you, why do you want to go to the post office? Nobody wants to do that. Just do your stamping online, baby. So simple. Stop wasting time. Okay, go to stamps.com. Don't go to the post office. Go there. There's no risk. With our promo code off topic, you get a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. How much does this package weigh? Oh, I don't know. Put it on the digital scale. Boom. Now I know. No long term commitments or contracts. Nobody wants those. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in off topic. That's this show. Stamps.com, never go to the post office again. But it was there a really was some, fun TTT. I love doing stuff like that. Like, if I know yeah. a hypnotist is picking someone up, it's like I really like to just kind of fuck with them. Like, it used to be just move the body around, but there was a, a TTT that we did where we knew that, um, jack was bad and you were he was the hypnotist and gav was the other bad guy so i had the golden deeg and i deeged gavin and then brought him back and jack just kind of confessed to being bad and jack was like oh i was like because he was like i was gonna revive fiona we could have made chung shua happen and everything and i was just like oh jack 
Jack, fix this. And I put you down and Jack just started reviving you. And I just sat there with the golden D watching <laughs> and like watching you revive and Kev popped up with no weapons and just screamed and ran down the road. And I popped him a second time. Like, it's because I, I knew what was coming. I, I was, I was just waiting. I think I was like holding down sprint while I was yeah. getting revived because I knew it was going to come. <laughs> oh, it's good shit. I just saw Booker. Fun with it. Yeah, Booker went by. Yeah. Who's, I uh, realized I never, I never set foot in that room. It's the only room I think it's I didn't go. It's a secret room. Yeah, Secrets. we didn't go in here. Oh, wow. Which yeah. is good because it's a real, it's a real mess in here. I mean, if you wanted any proof that this is my office, you just got to look over at this. There is all the booze. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> like, it's all over there. And then like on the floor, we've got some of that. Jeremy, There's you're ruining rum. the illusion. <laughs> Stop. More rum there. He's never going to get also, sponsored now. Also, Jesus Christ. Jesus. But like, you know, Gab, when you were like, am I the only one having you like held up the white claw and stuff like that? Um, you're never alone with Jeremy. I'm, I'm, doing, <laughs> I'm doing the my dad thing of like the try to only drink when people are around. Yeah, but we're around right now. Yeah, you're no, right it now, doesn't yeah. count. It doesn't yeah, it count. Does. Wait, it absolutely it does counts. Count. No, How I, else are we going to be around Twitter? you? I'm trying to lower. I got to lower my calorie intake because I am I got the tum tum again. I don't want That's it. That's why you do white claw, bro. It no. already lowers the calorie <laughs> no. intake. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, I drink Look all out. of my calories on streams and in videos because I just. Look how thin Gavin is, though. He's a white well, claw okay. man. If you're going to do it fully like your dad, you've at least got to sulk about it. I am so I <laughs> internally so sulk. This about is it. crazy though. Like this is insulting. We're all right here drinking. And Jeremy's yeah, like, what are we not what are we gonna do? Fly do there? What, what are you drinking, what, Michael? Yeah. What, are, what are we? A bunch of hams? No, I just I got my pineapple cider. I just cracked open yeah, a new one. Got baby. It off my desk. I don't believe Oh dang, oh it's real. <laughs> I knew you were in the middle of saying I don't believe it. I don't want to pour it oh, out. Pour it out. <laughs> He's getting sticky. He's becoming Gavin. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the transformation's complete. Oh, no. Stop. Matt, what are you drinking? I'm not really drinking anything right now. I ran out. Not drinking I had a bunch anything? Of, no, not anymore. Okay. I mean, I had some earlier today. I'm out, though. Okay. All right. I had a bunch of Angry Orchard that I just, you just been plowing through. You just said it in a weird way, like, I'm not really drinking anything. And I was like, so do you have a drink or not? No, yeah, no. I, I oh, okay. I don't have one. Yeah, that's why it was just kind of weird the way you phrased earlier, it. I did earlier, but it's all gone. I feel like consumed. <laughs> what, what's what's up, Gap? What do you feel like? I just love how I feel like you try and answer questions as vaguely as possible. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I really don't. Yeah. No, you. Well, look, I feel look, like look, it's look, enough. I give no, you enough information. No, you we'll don't. We'll be like ask you a question about GTA, and you'll be like. I mean, you know, and it's just like we never really get a true <laughs> black and white answer. It's just like a straight gray down the middle could go I either mean, way. And then only someone else deals just starts absolutes, to... Gavin. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> if it's yeah. gray, nothing can ever be blamed. Like, yeah. because they, well, that's not because you didn't say black. I mean, we'll still try. Yeah. But I'll like, like, I mean, it'll did happen. You, did you test to make sure that the uh, the cabs could do this? And you'll be like, define test. <laughs> it's like, what does that tell <laughs> <laughs> well no generally i'm like yes i did and then it's like well they didn't do it for me and i'm like yeah i know that's how my, it works my favorite <laughs> my favorite me, thing yeah. my favorite thing uh the matt it's not really like a particular catchphrase but is in the line of him testing something we record it the thing doesn't work and then matt just goes god damn it yeah. because he knows what's about to happen <laughs> no i i the second it happens i'm like it was locked and loaded before we started the video. But like, like <laughs> what I'm saying, what I'm saying is Matt doesn't even bother going, look, I tested it. He just skips all that now. And he'll just go, motherfucker, fuck this game. He just knows game. the outcome. Like, yeah, he no, just knows no, what's going to happen. I know the outcome well before because I'm like, it, it doesn't matter. I can, I can show you like hours of proof that I did it and it worked beforehand. And to be fair, we've even and, seen you get screwed over by GTA. Like we were, oh, many knocking, times. The, yeah. we were knocking the back wheels off cars left and right. Complete yeah. piece of piss. We actually try and do it as a separate video of its own doesn't work don't know why and that yeah. was like one of the few times where it's like 
I believe him when he says that he did test it, and it for some reason it's because different. I was there. <laughs> see, the thing is, see yeah. I I believe Matt every time. That just doesn't change anything. Oh yeah, I, no, I, I, know. I don't ever not believe Matt. If anything, the relationship Matt and I have is we both know he's right, and it doesn't matter. And I'll tell him <laughs> that. We said that in the video we recorded today. Something happened. I was like Matt and I were debating something, and I went, I went. You know what, Matt? You're right. I take it back. You're hundred percent right on this one. And I was like, enjoy it now. Cause I'm going to deny that it ever happened. And, <laughs> and Matt's like, I'm I'll show people this video and they won't believe me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you're absolutely it's, it's correct. hundred percent true. <laughs> like every time, dude, <laughs> there are still people that legitimately think I made you delete your save file. Well, you Zelda. did. Yeah, 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 that, that's it. That's what, what happened. happened. It was an evil <laughs> thing to do. You evil, <laughs> sick man. <laughs> That one I cannot wrap my head around how anyone like legitimately. You can almost that. see you can almost see in the footage too where like I deleted it and I kept going, Matt, Matt, I did something. And then and then the wheels start turning in my head and about 30 seconds go by and I go, Why did you make me do this? <laughs> and Matt just goes, Don't and that don't is, like, don't yeah, he literally is like, do Don't you dare. And I go, Matt, why did you do it? It turns. <laughs> We, we had a moment of a month or two ago where something wasn't working somewhere. Matt, you weren't even in the video. And I was just like, mm -hmm. man, did Matt even test this? And then I, and then I just thought to myself, I was like, editor, you can cut that because he, he doesn't need that. He's not even here. Yeah. He you, know, yeah, no, you know what's really funny? Is, I would have known about that. <laughs> yeah. Like, I remember I, I told you I used to listen to uh, the face, but um, I don't. I don't anymore because uh, I was... I, I, I listened to it like every week, but someone told me Jeff insulted me before I got to listen to it. And I was like, well, can't ever do that again. Damn. <laughs> no longer a fan. Damn, dude. You're losing fans. You, lost the you, know, what's, you know what's really funny, too, <laughs> that you say that you said something about Matt and you were like, cut it. I don't know if it was just before or after this, whatever. But there was absolutely a Gmod in recent history where you, Gavin, you weren't in it. And someone... Someone either slammed you and Matt jumped on it or Matt slammed you at the end. And I went, That's definitely possible. it happens. And I, yeah, and happens. I went, and I went, he's not even here. I said the exact <laughs> same thing. And Matt went, that's true. I don't mean it. That was too harsh. <laughs> 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 it was like, fuck Gavin. <laughs> you weren't even in the video. <laughs> yeah, I think I, uh, I think I heard that bit. Oh, uh, it's all good. It's all a good Yeah, spirit. no, it's exactly. I wouldn't like shit on you Is if I really though? didn't like you. I would. Oh, <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> well, on Gavin, Damn. not oh, you, Matt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fair, fair. But Matt, look at that cat. Matt, are please stop moving this. He, I, I had some contributions to the last conversation, but then I realized he unplugged my microphone a little bit <laughs> into that. Oh, oh, I yeah. just thought you were nice. thinking. You were meditating. No, I was yeah. very. Yeah, I was really. What I like. Uh, my relationship with Matt is it's different every video. You never know it, what we're going to get. It really is. It's maybe the most varied I can think of. <laughs> there's like, because you know, like it, randomizers it, and stuff. I'm like, this is going to be fun. We're going to have a fun time. And, mm -hmm. and then there's like, man, TTT could be rough today. TTT <laughs> can be rough. But then it's also, there's like, there's me and Matt in videos. There's then like different, you know, randomizer or something else. But then there's, you know, I like what I like to do in all videos. Is sometimes I just take a step back. I see what's mm -hmm. happening. And then I just start putting those people together. And I just, I like poking people. And so Matt gets caught a lot of times, not because I'm going after Matt, but because someone else is going after Matt. And then I have to jump in and either it doesn't matter. Does it, none of it matters. It doesn't matter who's saying what or what's going where. I just go, can you believe they said that? <laughs> wow well i wouldn't take that shit would you i'm just like i'm just like a box of modifiers that you could just drop on any situation to You're just like rile skulls. people up yeah i'm like you know what i'm like gavin in like the, the classic it, like yeah. in classic mario oh, party on. in the classic mario party you get to the the fucking chance game where you hit the spinning blocks and it's like this person does something to this yeah. person that's me i'm all three blocks it doesn't matter. I don't care. I just spin. I just spin and spin, and wherever you stop me, something's gonna happen, and I'm gonna laugh. That's it. So, I, I feel like whoa, you, you more lost than all your coins. That sucks. I feel like you more than anyone, Michael, define the day. You define the room vibe. 
And sometimes, like, it's been so long since we've all been in the same room actually working. But there, there'll be some days where I'll walk in maybe a bit later, maybe I'll come in at, like, noon or something, and you can already get the vibe of the room. And mm-hmm. it could be, like, you know, like a eh, vibe or, like, a jokey vibe or maybe more serious vibe. But there are some days where I've literally walked in and you're mid going, like, eh, and this is like one of those days i know exactly (laughs) from this point till when we leave i know what this day is gonna be like and it could be anything it is like a dice yeah i'm just spinning you know somebody has to hit me but every time you hit me i get faster (laughs) that third dice is a real mystery (laughs) you can't you can't time it you never know where it's gonna stop did we talk about how I tried to write down all the modes that you have? I think we did talk about that. I'm sure we did ages ago, but you're not wrong. The new <laughs> ones keep popping up, man. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I feel like you're you're an ever-evolving piece of work. Maybe some I of the old like ones are dropping off. <laughs> I've been reborn a little bit in the last few years, I think. Yeah. But look at this. You know what I mean? That's still there. Look yeah. at this. You, got, the that, yellow, you got that tattoo. The, the you don't even need this anymore. a little bit. Yeah. I asked Lindsay like 10 times before I got it. And they yeah. kept going, I don't care. Why would I care? And I went, well, <laughs> you have to look at it. I, it's kind of yeah, extreme. so close. You know what I mean? It's kind of extreme. So It's, uh, it's, it's still one of my favorite shirts. And uh, you, can, you can just can't wear it on a it's plane. A, it's a just great logo. Yeah. yeah, but now Uncle I got off. this on the plane. It's hard for me to show this <laughs> off. Now I got this. So I, I wear wristbands now. Um, I <laughs> came so close. An extra life on the other tattoo artist there because I got the I got the Borderlands tattoo, but I I just kept thinking it would have been so funny if for no reason I just got a little tattoo right here that just said Gavin for yeah. no reason <laughs> yeah and yeah. and I and like I kept talking to Cat I was like if I had Gavin's name tattooed on me would that like offend <laughs> <Yeah>. you <laughs> and I asked her several times and I decided I wasn't gonna do it and that's that would be so good it's a, if I went to get one hey. And I just had like Gavin written on me. It's a, it's it's a so thing you got to think about though too, where even you ask that right to Cat, much like me to Lindsay with this one, where you know I don't know what the answer was, but imagine Cat goes, oh, it does whatever, it doesn't bother me, it doesn't bother me. You sit there and you go, I think it will. It, it, I think it yeah. might. I think it I might. Think it it, might. It, it, I think it, it might. Therefore, and, uh, it, it, it there's will. no going backwards on this thing. Oh, I don't be... think I'd get Gavin, but I would get Setters. Setters would be a great one. Because it's like just one. different if enough. If you did get that, Jeremy, that would be my third, I guess, on someone's body. Because we got the, the nice dynamite, which you know I'm part of on Michael. I've yep. got my nose on Jeff. And mm-hmm. then if you had my name, that would be this, the trifecta. But we I, could yeah, come I, together would, to make you know a new Gavin. You know what's the problem? Will you be satisfied then? <laughs> no, he won't, Matt, because you know what we're, you know what we're unwillingly <laughs> Matt, Matt, doing? You get? <laughs> we're just we're running around giving this British piece of shit a bunch of horcruxes. He's, we're just splitting his souls. He's like, yeah. oh, yeah, I how did you see just me yet? I'm still in the Team Dice Dynamite logo. That's my bubble shield. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember that was like a week, the bubble shield thing. That it, that was, like, was, it was, it, way it was more probably than a week. No, no, no. I mean, there was like it a was concentrated longer. week, and then it fizzled out. A little, it wasn't as I constant. It. I love the stuff like that, though. Then it comes out. Bubble bubble. The, video, the video comes out, and the audience is forgetting about Bubble Shield. And I, and I go, they still doing that? <laughs> <laughs> like months ago. Yeah. When are we doing uh, Lasso Halo 5? Hey, where, you, where are you? Oh, you fuck you me. Record it? Well, yeah. when it gets added to MCC, right? Isn't that what That's we've been doing? That's, I think, what we were talking about. Is it going to be added there? <laughs> or should we just do it? I, I don't know if that us. will be added right away. Right? Well, know. if we just do it, we have to do it on Xbox, right? That's the thing with it? Yeah, correct. Okay. Yo, we did some juicy Halo 2 yesterday. That was fun. Mm-hmm. That was some, yeah. or, uh, Halo 2 and 3. We did split, but we, uh, but we mm-hmm. streamed it. Gav, it was classic Halo. We started, it was me, uh, Jeremy, Alfredo, uh, Matt Bragg. And um, the first game we played was just like uh, soul crushing. It was oh. just like, it was just the team that were, they, it was an objective game. And then they set up, they got all the power weapons. And then it was like a spawn death, spawn death. Like we just didn't exist yeah. in the game. And it was like, like first I, game of the stream. Here we I go. Just, I came back to life and a rocket was already out of the, the yeah. rocket launcher. It was aimed some, at my position and it hit me immediately. It was some sick shit. But then I think the next game we lost, but it was like by a human score. 
And then we did pretty well from that point on. I just kept going, it's going to turn. It's going to turn. Also, Sarah was very <clears throat> insulting to me in the morning when we were talking about the game. Oh, extremely, which I, yeah. I didn't understand yeah. at all. What's that problem? Uh, I doesn't we like Mikey. Never know. Um, we, we were discussing what we were going to be playing, right? And there were supposed to be more people in Halo. And then schedule changed, so it was just the four of us. And so the discussion was, do we switch to something else? And I... I was there like after I, I showed up after this this this, this discussion started. I got it, um, and so I was like, "Wait, what are we what are we talking about?" And Jeremy's like, "Oh, well, we only have four people for Halo, so you know we probably don't want to just do, you know, two v twos. So maybe we'll pivot to another game." And I go, well, "We can just do the Team Slayer playlist, right? That's four people." And because we're notoriously bad at everything, you know, and so Jeremy was like, oh, you mean like play other people? And I go, yeah, we can we can win in Halo like me, you, Matt, Alfredo. We can win some games. That's a game we can play and win. Yeah. And Jeremy goes, oh, yeah, you know, I didn't even think about that. That's a good point. Like, like we're we'll win at Halo. And, and fucking Sarah goes, are you kidding? Are you joking right now? And we're like, what do you mean? <laughs> she went back and forth. We're like, what do you mean? And she goes, I don't know if you're kidding right now. I don't know if you're making a joke. And Jeremy goes, no, I'm not making a joke. Like, we're pretty decent. If we get SWAT, Alfredo's really good. And if we get, like, Slayer, Michael's really good at Slayer. I think we'll be fine. It's just dead silence. And she goes, I don't know if you're fucking with me right tell, now. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if you're fucking with me or not. <laughs> she said. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then we just kept talking. We kind of went over. We kept talking. And then because my dice started spinning, I went, I'm just kidding. I'm terrible at Halo. And it just pulled her back. And she was going, oh, and her brain was bouncing all over the place. <laughs> I remember I was saying, I can't tell if you're lying or you're telling the truth. And I just went, that's where we're our most dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was fun. Halo is always fun, man, when you come back to it. It is. We, and it was the second video that day that had that kind of curse to it of like, we went <laughs> in and we played against the world. And the first game was that Soul Crusher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then everything after was fine because we did roulettes play and we played Rocket League. And was it the same group? I think it was the same yeah. exact group. Yeah, it was yeah. the four yeah. of us. Yeah, it was, I was, so it was the four of us. I, I, I like love Rocket League. Into, yeah, exactly. I love Rocket League. I hadn't played it for a while. I was like, awesome. Get to yeah, play that was clear. But because it's like, um, because it's a game that people actually play like competitively, like there's esports leagues and stuff like that. The game actually has really good matchmaking in terms of like putting you and people that are a similar level and stuff like that. So we, we go into the first game of 4v4 and there was this, and there was one guy in the lobby on the other team that was phenomenally good. Like one of the people you see that can like hit the ball into the air and then like fly after it and hit it a certain yeah, he was way just in the flying, air. And like, like the whole game. Yeah, just like flying around and like was perfectly stopping the ball in certain places and setting up the shots and everything. And I'm watching it like this guy must be on like a Smurf account right now because it was he was down at our levels, but like the gameplay, you're like, that's clearly someone who's very, very good. And like no one else on their, his team scored anything. He just would. No, take yeah. it, it, was, it was literally beat one, it. one like that, person that beat our entire won. team. And the, the whole round was just like, <sighs> and yep. was it, it's not one of those things where, you know, it, where, you know, somebody might say, Oh, well, just cause you lost doesn't mean, you know, you shouldn't, you know not release it or whatever and it was like mm, this wasn't losing this yep, was just yeah. just getting beat in the head over and over again and, Jer and jeremy going get out get out yeah. of here <laughs> play on your like, real account because like well because also in rocket league there's there's competitive play and casual play and i'm like why are you like if, if, and i said the same thing in halo i'm like if you if this is how you want to play then play in competitive like if you're doing the super like you know competitive like, yeah if you're playing like super competitively and not kind of like fucking around a little though. bit and stuff like that let but. me tell you though when the video actually starts after that round it was a great roulette's play very fun yeah yeah rocket league it was, is still fun yeah it was one of those classics like we filmed it and then went hang on hang on hang on 
Hey, welcome to Roulette's Play. Here we go. First <laughs> round. And then, then, then we end the video with those like, we want this, we want this many games, and that's how many games we played. That's it. <laughs> yep. Didn't play any extra games. Wasn't that pretty Let's much spin how the all wheel. the uh, achievement versus, versus the world? The world. Yes, yeah. Which is yeah. funny. Halfway because through, be like, this is, this is <laughs> funny. Yep. This is funny because I had to explain to Alfredo what that was. And it's funny that we all live in that mindset, right? Where Jeremy said, um, when we were talking about Halo, his first reaction was, oh, we just do like verse the world. And I don't think of Halo like that because I think of Achievement Hunter versus the world means we're going to get our shit pushed in. We're fucking terrible. It's just going to be us losing <laughs> yeah. over and over again. And I go, no, 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 not like Achievement Hunter versus the world, just us playing Halo. We could win some games. And I had to explain what that meant to Alfredo because they'd be <laughs> like, hey, you know what we should do? None of us have played Call of Duty in two years. Let's go and film a game <laughs> in multiplayer. And then he'd be like, oh, like game after game after game. And it's like, who's going to watch this? There's nothing. It's just like spawn death, spawn death, spawn death, spawn death. And so when when Jeremy said, it was funny because he's like, that's why I didn't think of let's do matchmaking because I'm basically like emotionally scarred from that. But I yeah. forgot <laughs> we can win at Halo. And we did win. A fair amount. Yeah. But it's also why, like, my, because, like, you know, and it's so soul crushing because, and, like, also, it, it's like, we're bad, but mm -hmm. correct. We're also bad because we play a lot of games. Like, it's yeah. not like we have that one game that we play, like, a ton. So, therefore, like, we get to learn it and we get to, like, you know, get better at it and stuff. And, the only way to do that is to play a lot of it like outside of hours and stuff like that, you know, and, and actually dedicate a lot of time to it. Otherwise, you're still going to be yeah. bad, which, which is why is, I always yeah, hated bad, bad, Get like, Good. Terribly. It's, it's, like, yeah. the, it's yeah. the only reason I'm decent at Halo is because I put 10 million hours in it mm -hmm. 15 years mm -hmm. ago, but there's still like some little fragment some that remains. Yeah, yeah, it's it like, really is. It's like the whole like jack of all trades uh, scenario, except I feel like we're like a four of all trades. Yeah, we like. We yeah, played so I, would much call us, I would call us crap of all trades. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like that's why I've, I always it's my it's my least favorite series to do with Chewing Hunter is get good because like you don't get good. It's like you, you learn <laughs> you learn a little bit, but still we're only playing it in these couple of videos, like one a week. Yeah, you know, it's like we're gonna get good. It's like we're not. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're really not and then like by you know episode eight or whatever after like maybe episode five and six it was like oh we won this many matches oh my god they're getting good and then like seven and eight come and it's like <laughs> you get like annihilated <laughs> yeah and then, it's, it's and, more like get moderately acceptable yeah right. get, get acceptable yeah, just doesn't roll off the tongue, yeah. <laughs> get better than you usually are which is very bad yeah oh god check this out yeah. <gasps> you just had those when we were doing plates. Oh no, they were Wendy's. I got a supply drop. It's true, they were oh, Wendy's. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'd be weird that if they place. were the same fries. <laughs> <laughs> they are good, dude. Yeah, I regurgitated them and have consumed them again. They look good. Man. I'm just, oh, man. They're good. They're very good. Are they well done? Or just normal mm. done? They're just normal. Oh, okay. But they're pretty crispy normal. That's good. Oh no, it's, it's not raining outside, is it? I was gonna grill after this. Yo, you Damn, still bro, do it. bro. Yeah, I, I think I'm still, good. It's still raining. Hot dogs. Is it still going on? Is that thunderstorm crap still happening with you guys? Because uh, I know Austin? it was like thunderstorming for like it's chilled it was out a little bit. For so it was, long, it was pretty bad. Yeah. It's chilled out a little bit, but I think it's still in the vicinity. Yeah, the worst part was that between, between the days of constant downpour, it was just gloomy, but still hot. And even a bit hot when it was raining, too. It was just like a Dude, muggy it's, time. It's been so humid, because it's like, it's like 85, 90 now in Austin. Yeah. And so with nonstop rain, it's just disgusting outside. And, uh, uh, and mud has been in the grass for a month. Mad trick. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Oh. Get the yeah. hell out of here. Matt, get a sweater. <laughs> I know. I'll do, I got beanie or something. I I realize now. I was kind of excited about how nice the upcoming week was. Mm. Uh, I didn't realize I still had yep. this uh, on Austin. So Austin <laughs> looks nice this coming week. <laughs> uh, here, not so much. It's ninety-one Ooh, degrees right now. Ninety-one <laughs> degrees right now. No, ninety-three. 
Uh, it was three nice. degrees right now. It was nice as dicks when we came to visit, though. Yeah, I'm just it's, sitting outside, being like, ah. Oh, well, the thing is, when you came to visit, it was also like surprisingly warm. It was like a warmer weekend, so it hit like ninety and like low nineties and stuff. But when we were driving to the escape room, um, it's like a hefty drive, you know. It's mm -hmm. it's it's, it's so, it was like over an hour, and we have two cars. We have <laughs> we have like a Camry and a Mustang, um, and. Like, we figured this out on the way back, but, I mean, the smart thing to do was four people in one and two in the other. But we were like, let's go three and three. And so, on the way there, I sat, you know, I drove the Mustang, Jackie sat up front, and Gav sat in the back, and it's a convertible. And he just got annihilated, because it we were going, like, 80, we were oh, going, like, man. 80 down the highway and stuff, but he's in the back, and the wind's hitting him. And, like, he didn't have any sunglasses. Like, I happen to have an extra pair in the car. So, the beginning of the ride, I just saw him back there like this. So, I gave him the sunglasses. I gave him sunscreen. And then, like, I couldn't... I kept trying to talk to him. And he'd be like, what? Like, in the back end. Yeah. Wild. And we would, like, slow down every now and again. And Gav would be like, oh, there's music playing. Like, yeah, we were, like, we were, like 25 minutes into the journey. We'd be going on the highway. And around the 80 mile an hour mark, something about the the shape of the windscreen, it was like whipping the air in the vortex. It was like yeah. pushing my ears forward and like blowing nice. the glass out of my cool. face. It was, like blowing, it was like blowing my head around, especially like when the wind was coming this way. It was like a hundred miles an hour That's worth awesome. of wind. It was like, yeah. all I could hear was like <laughs> the yeah. whole time. And then we slowed down That's to a brutal, traffic dude. light for the first time in like 25 minutes. And I was like, oh shit, you guys are listening to music? That's awesome. <laughs> It was like can, fairly loud. I couldn't hear anything. I could just see that the music was on. I could see him turning the, the volume up and down, but I wasn't hearing anything. There was, there was one bit where I got to enjoy the music, and it's because I could see that the killers were playing. What's the name of that song? Somebody told me or something? Yeah, that, that thing, yes. Somebody I, told me. Yeah, that's yeah, Gavin in the back right there. there. The only look at the reason... glasses, like all tilted. Like... <laughs> <laughs> only, I, I said to Jackie to that video. I said to Jackie, "It looks like my hair is from like a bad stop motion film. Like every yeah. single frame, it's in a completely different place." Yeah. But I, I, I decided to look at what song was playing because Jeremy was driving and I was getting like wind in my face, all that stuff. And I just saw Jeremy's arm while he was driving go, and I, and I thought, "Oh, what's that?" And I looked at the song and I was like, "Oh, that's that bit right before the chorus where it goes, do do somebody." And I, and I was like, <laughs> at that point. I can hear just enough of it. I was like, I got it. I know what's I saw Gavin Rubin, like, oh. so I thought he could hear it, but he was yeah, just like, just nothing. After doing Damn, it. dude. <laughs> uh, it was so Perfect. funny. And my favorite part was that for some reason, originally, Jackie also got in the back. And we were like, wait, no, only one person mm -hmm. has to go what? in the back. Why I was up front both alone. Be? Yeah. Damn. And so you were chauffeur. Uh, Damn. Yeah. Start driving. Yeah. Don't look it was, at me. It was, uh, it was a long drive. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was a lot. And I kept just telling Gavin, like, we're almost there, Gavin. We're going to get you in there. We're close. <laughs> yeah, we got out and I was like, I need a drink. <laughs> yep. It was some very hot air. And uh, I, well, I think that's... I lost my hoodie as well. I think it blew under your seat and I never got it. <laughs> Oh wait! That's wait, really? That, that's probably still it's there. Gone. Oh, yeah, I'll gone. check under the seat. I feel like I feel like that's under like... the seat was an easily retrievable location. Well, well I mean, like, I just kept about it. I it just kept going there. It was gone. I had a, I had a girlfriend uh, in high school. She got a convertible Mustang as well, and like my it, it, prognosis, I guess, of it was it's just a car that you get if you want to torture the person that has to ride in the back. Yep, like a hundred percent, like. Well, I mean, it, most of the time, town's all right, but you're probably not going to have people in the back of your convertible ninety percent of the would time, think, right? I mean, you think, have you ever seen? We got any... to the point that like we'd start taking, like we used to take all my car uh, because right. like I got a car early, and I was like, yeah, we can all take my car to the movies. But she got the car, and she's like, I want to take people to to stuff in it because it's, yeah. it's cool. And when we're on so, the convertible, film one music it, video. But I was up front. I, <laughs> Convertibles, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And like we could. And like the other, we didn't put the roof up because like, mu at least in, you know, uh, cause I own another Mustang that was a hard top, but like, mm -hmm. if you're taller than me, uh, it's, it's so uncomfortable oh, to be yeah. back there. Cause the roof is like, it, it's like here, you know, like, you, like the taller people have to kind of like do this to sit in the back. 
Um, but now, in no. retrospect, do you think that would be more or less comfortable yes. than what you would That would have been way Gavin. more comfortable because in reality, you could have just laid down a bit too. There's no one back yeah. there. People were laughing at me. People were like driving up, <laughs> yeah. up the side of you, pointing and laughing at me. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, they were. They really were. And oh, the funny thing too is I was like driving what? out. We were just starting to, to head there, and I was like, oh, by the way, like, there's this thing, I guess, when you own like a Mustang that if you drive by another one, they wave. Like just the people who yeah. own Mustangs all wave at Whoa. each other. And like I just said that. And while we were on the highway, a Mustang drove by and the guy went like this out the window at us and everything. And I was like, Yep, hey, how's it going? And I was just still in the back, like getting blown around. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, uh, it was such a fun trip. Would we'll do it. Was a good again. Time. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, anyways. Yeah. What are you looking at, Micah? You got something going on? I think they're on? they're collecting trash. It's 4 30. What the hell? Weird. Sleepy, sleepy dude, garbage man. Weird. Sleepy. Yeah, dude. I uh, think. Nothing? I think. I don't know. Who goes on after us? Doesn't a post team does post stuff? Post team, baby. Yeah. Yeah. What stuff. time do they go on? Because I feel like I always eat into their time. Are they 4 30? 4 30? Today, I'll tell you, for some reason, they're playing Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events on the PS2. What? That, that sounds like <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Whoa. Just, classic. just throwing that out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> they haven't classic. yet. They should, play those, they should play those old PS1 games of the Harry Potter series. Where everyone looks like a monster. I saw, I saw <laughs> you playing that not too long ago. You yeah, were rooting dude. around, rooting around in Nightmare some of that Hagrid. trash. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you you rooting around in the trash. You get some beans. It's good yeah, time. but I'm back in Minecraft now. Um, Tyler playing, Tyler yeah. said Matt is correct. Uh, that was from Sarah, so I assume Sarah is oh, playing that. Yep. Noise. Yep. Um, but, uh, gotta get yeah. those chivos. Three new achievements in Minecraft. Get them, people. Dude, what did they achieve? Yeah, they added like a goat, right? Yeah, there's um, a really dumb one with a goat where it's uh, it's called whatever floats your goat, and you have to oh. get in a boat with a goat and float with it. That's cool. Um, <laughs> then there's another one for oh God, I can't remember. I can't remember the first one I did, but the the one I'm working on now is they added copper, so you can make copper blocks oh, yeah. and stairs and slabs, and then you can wax them because if you leave them outside, they oxidize and turn green. Oh no! Oh, it's, go it's going too far. Yeah, it, yeah, it oxidizes. <laughs> oh, there, there's there's Hagrid from the PS1 oh, yeah. game. That's what he. <laughs> that's Robbie what he looks like. What happened? <laughs> yeah, he, he looks bad. But so I'm working on that one now because you need to get you need to get blocks to fully oxidize and then polish them, and it takes 200 in-game days. So I've just been leaving oh, my Minecraft God. up. Why? Yeah. I mean, it will rain like a hundred times. Um, yeah, exactly. That's brutal. <laughs> that's brutal. It's brutal. Can you, yeah. Can you sleep to like advanced time? Like I don't know. I left it overnight last night. Um, uh -huh. And then I woke up this morning and I did it. But it didn't. And then my, I think my game crashed right after it. Nice. So it only counted half of it. So I have to like redo the whole thing again. So I have to like leave it oh, up gosh. again and try to do it. I totally oh. forget the, the other achievement that you had to do. Oh, Axolotl. You have to win a fight with a pet Axolotl. That's what you have to oh, do. Oh, nice. Yeah. I. Talking about games. I'm very excited for the new Ratchet and Clank to come out, dude. Tomorrow, yeah. I, I mean, tonight technically, but yeah, yeah. tomorrow. You know, I'm gonna 11, play the hell 11, out of it. I'm gonna play like the yesterday. f out of it. I, dude, I'm. A, I don't know, man. It's like not that I don't like games. I love them. You know what I mean? But it's rare for me to be like, oh, before a game comes out. Mm -hmm. I think it's because I know like I don't have time to play it. Or even if I have time to play, it's not the way I want to play it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. even people have this misconception that, you know, if a game comes out, we can play it all day. In reality, like, it's like, no, we'll play it for an hour this day, and then we can't play it again for four days or like nine mm -hmm. days it or sucks. whatever. And uh, I don't know. There's just there's there's huge games that come out, and I go, that's cool. I'll get to it, and I know I'm gonna get to it. I am like full steam. Mikey's excited. I love this series. It's like I I'm one of the six people in America that has a PS5. I'm very excited to play it, and <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it's PS5 only. It's not on the PS4. I, I think it's an exclusive. That's wild Shit. for a console that they don't make. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> I I bet sales for the game would be higher if people had it. Um, Possible, but yeah. I'm I'm stoked. Yeah, I, I love looking yoked. forward to a game coming out. It's Good a feeling. great feeling. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I remember being, I recently was excited for the new Subnautica like Below Zero to oh, come yeah. to get it. It's like 1.0 because I didn't want to play it until the story was finished. I was really <laughs> excited, and I was also really excited for Mass Effect. Uh, legendary whatever to come out they came out on the same day they did and i've been i've kind of been too busy to play the room which is unfortunate but i'm, I'm, like, really like, I'm gonna get involved yeah i i like watched a few people play some like i remember it was getting like that that you know final uh patch and i was like yeah i'm excited to to see it and then i watched someone play i was like i have to play it now but i absolutely have to so, so, so is so. insanely fun yeah there's yeah. so many um, and then you're right though mass effect took so much of my life like i'm still not done with the the series again there's but, uh, so yeah, many wanna... games where like it, it's great when you play it and then you find you like the game mm -hmm. and you're like oh there's four of these i feel that way with the room like that we mm -hmm. never we've never played it before and by the time we played the first one we were like there's like three more of these that rules and then you can just like catch up and play them all yeah yeah, it's like when you find a really good series, but really late. Like, I think yeah. I started watching, I started watching Breaking Bad in, like, series four. And I was like, there's four of these? This is going to yeah. be awesome. Love it. Well, see, and that's, that's, like, why I'm kind of excited for Ratchet, because, like, I never played those games when I was a kid. Um, mm. I just, I played Jack and Dax and, like, Spyro and, and Crash. I never played um, Ratchet and Clank. So uh, I'm excited to actually like. We want to see your reaction, Gavin. Okay, I want to know what <laughs> okay. you think about me. I'm not saying it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Gavin's got to go get off. Um. So we should wrap it. Yeah. There he goes. Uh, man, go watch the hey, post team. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, check out uh, post team coming up right now. Um, hot off the presses, Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events on the PS2. Uh, you know, feel free to check out, got a couple of new shows out, uh, like Annual Pass, the podcast with Jack and Jeff, talking about roller coasters and theme parks and whatnot. In fact, they're on a trip right now. It's yeah, like part vacation, yep. part Annual Pass, uh, like... They saw Colleen and Thompson. Uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> new season of Let's Roll is just kicking off. I think there's two, uh, two episodes out now, of the, uh, which we are back to filming in studio, which is exciting. It's uh, uh, Sheriff of Nottingham is the first episode. <sighs> and we filmed a couple more already. It's good. It's been a dynamite season so far. Uh, and lots of other things to peruse. So thanks for watching. I'd say get out, but I don't want you to leave. I want you to keep watching the post show. So stay where you are. We'll get out. We'll see ourselves out. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, it's over now. Leave. Gavin, next time Bye. we're back in the office, you're not in it. It's next week. It's next week, though. But, we're back. We're back next week. <laughs> it was just a box. We're back in the studio next week. Maybe Gavin will be there. If he's not, it's because he doesn't like you in particular. Yeah, you, <laughs> David. Thank <laughs> you.